Well, what's going on guys? My name is Joshua Daniel George. Welcome to a new video and in this video I'm going to explain to you the reasons why most social media marketing agency owners fail. No, I don't waste no time. Well, what's going on guys and welcome to the video so like i already said in the introduction today we're going to be talking about why most smma owners fail and the reason for me recording this video is basically inspired by yesterday's coaching call so today is monday i'm actually recording this at the same day that i'm uploading it and yesterday's coaching call we were discussing mindset um peak performance and basically why like what mental challenges you need to overcome as an agency owner to actually get success with social media marketing and there was a few things that were mentioned during the call that i thought yeah and that really is the reason why like some of the people within the coaching group for example are actually hitting uh, six figures are actually making good numbers as opposed to people that are maybe not inside the group but are trying to do it all on their own devices and are not actually getting the results that they want and for me, the like, first and foremost, the main reason why, in my opinion, most agency owners fail is that they get caught up with all of these minor details. Like they, they don't even get started really. And I've noticed that this is like the main issue when it comes to getting started because you can literally, at the end of the day, like after this video, you can literally start reaching out to potential clients, but there's a reason why you don't. And it's because you think that you need a website, you need a logo, you need an agency name and all this, like all these minor details. And sometimes you get caught up in these little details when all it comes down to, like social media marketing at its core, it literally comes down to the four pillars, as I mentioned, client outreach, sales, project management and project development. So getting the clients in, closing the clients, making sure the client's happy and getting the results. But you can even break it down further and at the end of the day, all you need to be doing is three things. You know, the three basically foundational things of social media marketing, which are reaching out to clients, getting meetings and getting results for the clients. That, that is literally all you need to be doing. And having a website, having a logo, um, you know, all these like processes, etc., etc. they will come later on. Like at the end of the day, you do not need a logo. You do not need these seven figure processes and systems if you haven't got like the foundation, you know, settled properly. So you've got two things that you can leverage with social media marketing, your income, so your cash flow or your time. And if you haven't got the money, you will need to put in the work manually. And that is again, another thing that I see a lot of agency owners take for granted that, the, the, the amount of effort that they need to put into it. But we will get into that uh, in a later part of this video. But the first reason why most SMA owners fail is that they get caught up in all the minor details. So everything from, oh, I need to uh, consume more content on social media marketing. I need to know more about this and that topic. You know, I need to know what chapter three, four, and five are going to look like when they haven't even finished chapter one. Like for example, there was a guy, um, so basically most of the time I do not really manage my uh, DMs anymore on Instagram. Um, I will mention it if it's me and um, I've told my assistant as well to mention that it's here um, if she replies to messages, just because I don't want people um, I, I don't want people thinking that it's me if she replies and stuff like that. I do, don't think that's very ethical. Um, but anyway, there was a, a guy that reached out to me and basically said, um, that he really enjoyed my beginner course, which is in the, 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 the free Facebook group, but that he wanted to know more about Facebook advertising. And the free course on um, in my Facebook group, group is about um, how to get your first client. So how to leverage freelancer websites like Upwork, how to get onto the Upwork platform, how to start reaching out, sending out proposals, etc., and getting your first client. And this guy replied saying, I love the course, but there's nothing about Facebook. You know, where can I find more information about Facebook that, you know, within the free portal because he didn't have the funds to invest into my program. And uh, my assistant replied with basically, you know, like, okay, you know, that's great to hear that you enjoyed the program, but have you got any clients? And he went, no, no, I don't have any clients. Um, but just for when I do get a client, I want to know how to get results. And I almost, you know, obviously I... 100% believe that you do need to be able to get results if you get the client. But, you know, first, the first thing you need to figure out is how to actually reach out to clients. And this guy 
did not reach out to any businesses. He didn't do any outreach. He didn't get onto the Upwork platform because he was still in information gathering mode, okay? So the number one mistake, people's, people focus on the minor details and they stay in information gathering mode. And that is the reason why they fail because they don't even get started. So they basically quit before they even get started because it feels like they need to do so much when at the end of the day all they need to do all you need to do is focus on three things which is reaching out setting meetings and getting results reason number two why a lot of um, SMMA owners fail is because they don't front load their pipeline and what I mean by that is that at the end of the day when you are starting out with social media marketing when you are reaching out to clients it is a numbers game so you will need to reach out to a lot of businesses there are a very very there's a very small percentage out there that will literally land three clients from their first three meetings i went six months without actually landing a client yes you know i didn't have systems in place and i was messing about with my website etc that was my first mistake as well i focused on all these little my like little minor details that weren't really important but it did take me a while before i actually got my first client and the reason why is because i didn't reach out to as many businesses as i should have been doing and in my in my group, for example, in my coaching program, uh, there, there are students that are reaching out to 500 businesses a day. Yes, they have my uh, outreach hybrid system where it, you know, it's basically easy to send out email blasts, but still that's a lot of businesses every single day. And there's a, like, just think to yourself, how big is the chance that you're going to get a reply or a meeting from 500 businesses? And now compare that to how big the chance is that you get one meeting or one reply when you only reach out to 10 businesses. Obviously, the more businesses you reach out to, the higher the likelihood that you're actually going to get a meeting. The more meetings you get, the higher the likelihood that you're actually going to get a client. And at the end of the day, that is all it takes. You just need to be reaching out to as many businesses as possible. And yes, there are a lot of gurus out there that say that they all come inbound and you need to manifest all of it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, yes, you know, we do get inbound leads, we do get referrals, but we've already got an established agency. You know, there's there's uh, there's something called power versus force. If you haven't got the power to actually get uh, all these inbound meetings and all of these people coming to you, then you need to, you know, use force. You need to be disruptive. You need to be reaching out to these people and getting in front of them. And, you know, for that, you will need to be reaching out to more businesses. Then the third mistake or the third reason why a lot of SMA owners fail is because they break the chain so again this is what we discussed on yesterday's uh, coaching call and we were talking about outreach and like i said you know you need to be reaching out to a lot of businesses and like i said some people reach out to 500 businesses a day some people reach out to 100 businesses a day which is a lot of outreach and for some people when you are just starting out that can seem quite daunting and can seem quite intimidating, thinking, oh, I need to reach out to 500 businesses today. I don't know where to start. They get anxious and they end up not reaching out at all. The most important thing you need to think of is the consistency. So you are much better reaching out to 20 businesses a day for an entire year than reaching out to, like I said, 500 businesses a day for one day and then being so tired or so fed up or so demotivated after that one day that you break the chain. So literally, you know, the consistency chain and you don't reach out to any more businesses. So what I highly recommend you do, if you find that number intimidating, like the 500 or the 100 or whatever, you know, um, amount of people you want to reach out to, start with 10. Reach out to 10 business owners. Like I said, there is a small chance that uh, out of those 10, you'll actually get your first clients. But again, it is possible. And if you reach out to another 10 the day after, that's 20 people you've reached out to. Again, there's a, a little bit more of a chance that one of those 20 people will reply. The day after that, you do 10 again, and so on and so forth. And over time, you will have reached out to hundreds and hundreds of businesses. And yes, you know, it's not all in one go. And yes, you know, people that are reaching out to 500 are, you know, basically getting more replies, but don't compare yourself to them. You know, stay in your lane and just focus on your own journey and if you think 500 is not enough then start with 10 start with 20 and then build it up from there and over time what you need to do is just add one more it's like progressive overload for outreach so if you can consistently do 10 and it's in your routine you know it's it's almost it's not even a task anymore because it's almost a habit so you go onto your computer you reach out to 10 businesses and then you go on about your day if you can consistently do that then 
try and push the needle a bit further and reach out to 11 businesses and then 12 businesses. And over time, you'll notice that it becomes a habit and it's easier to reach out to these large numbers. Or what you can do, like I said uh, to my coaching program basically, is find ways to automate it and to systemize it. But when you're just starting out, like I said, you need to leverage your time because you can't leverage your cash flow. Okay, and now to sort of wrap up this video, uh, the last two reasons why SMA owners fail. Um, the What are we up to now? I think the fourth reason. The fourth reason is that they offer too many different types of services. And I'm going to be doing a complete module on this in the program, um, but basically all it comes down to, if you offer one service, you can really become an expert at it and it's much more manageable in terms of time, in terms of cash flow, and in terms of streamlining your agency. So if you just offer e-commerce to, for example, meal prep companies, um, and you help them scale from six to seven figures, for example, you know that is very, very specific, but it's much easier for you to become an expert at that one thing than it is to offer all these different kinds of services. Because if you've got one client that is an info product for some kind of coaching program, then you've got another client that um, offers some kind of meal delivery service, then you've got another client that is in beauty and makeup, you've got another client that is a online personal trainer, you've got another client that is a physical personal trainer and stuff like that. Like It's going to be very, very messy and it's going to be very, very hard for you to streamline all of those processes. And if you've got, like I said, you've got five clients and they're all offering or they're all expecting different things from you and you're offering different services to all these five clients, it's going to be really, really hard for you to reach out to more businesses and you'll reach that glass ceiling. Whereas you, know, you literally won't have enough time to reach out to more businesses because you're offering all these different kinds of services, your mind is scattered, the services that you're offering are mediocre because you're not an expert at one thing. These clients will leave you. You've got no time to reach out to other businesses and it all comes falling down. And that is what you need to prevent. And that is why, yes, you know, feel free to uh, try out different niches, try out different services, but there will need to be a time where you lock down that one service, you lock down that one niche and you become an expert at it. And then the last mistake that I see a lot of SMA owners make is that they don't reinvest their profits. Now, we all know the profit margins with social media marketing are 90% plus. Like, literally, it's all, all on you. Now, if you offer or if you charge a 1,000 pound retainer or 1,000 euro retainer, then that is all for you because the ads are separate, okay? So the, when you offer your retainer for 1,000, that is yours. The, the extra money for ads gets uh, basically taken out of their credit card. So you do not actually pay for the, for the ads. The client pays for the ads. So you get paid for your value that you can set those up and for the time that you spend on the ad accounts, well, more the value that you provide really. Uh, but you know that's why you get paid and the money that you get paid is yours to keep. Then you've got tax that you need to pay. You've got systems that you can get. You know You can do it all manually, but at the end of the day, it's much more streamlined if you have systems in place. For example, with my coaching group, um, I require, or not my coaching group, apologies, my Facebook group, um, I require a email just to make sure that people that are um, basically, you know, requesting access to my free Facebook group to get the free course and the free playbook, um, that they are legitimate Facebook accounts. So we've got a, basically a, um, like a, a wall with a question and they need to answer the question before they can actually get through the wall and enter my Facebook group. And the question is, you know, what is your email? And we also take that email and we basically send it to the um, to my email list. So I build up my email list over time. Not something, you know, it's something I'm quite transparent about, um, but basically uh, for me to get that email and to manually add to my email list takes up a lot of time, especially when there's 20, 30 people every single day requesting access to the group. So what we have now set up is a software, I think it's called Group Convert, I'm not really sure. There are a bunch of softwares out there. I literally just chose the cheapest. I think it's 10, uh, I think it's 10 euros a month here. Um, but that streamlined that entire process. So we now have a VA that vets all of the people that request access. She removes all of the people that um, are not a right fit for the group or don't seem like a legitimate account. So for example, it's the 3rd of August at the time recording this. And then you see that they created their Facebook profile the 2nd of August. Yeah, you're not getting into the group because I know that that is not a real account. Um, then, for, so like I said, after the VA is finished, she can press the button on group convert and all of the emails get sent uh, to my email list. And that piece of software has saved us a few hours every single week because like I said, it's a lot of emails that we need to go through. And um, by invest reinvesting 
a part of my profits. It's only 10 euro, but you get the point. You know, by re reinvesting some of the profits into systems, we can streamline more, save more time, and basically, you know, it's, it's a more of a well-oiled machine. And we reached the 15 minute mark again where my camera goes off. For those of you that got a Canon G7X Mark II, please let me know why does this keep happening because it is quite frustrating. My videos are getting slightly longer, so as soon as I hit that 15 minute mark, my camera shuts off. So please let me know if you have any tips for me. But anyway, that is basically the end of the video. Anyway, like this video if you got something out of it. If you want to work together on your agency, I do have my own coaching program, which I highly recommend. I am very proud of because we are getting great results and we do have students hitting the six figure mark after starting from zero. So if you really want to take that leap and you want to push your agency to the next level or start your agency from the beginning and you're serious about it and you're willing to work really hard then I'd love to work together with you what you can do is schedule a free call in the description box down below we can see if we're a right fit for each other if we are we'll offer you a spot on the program if not no hard feelings you know we're not a right fit uh, you can basically try and start it from the content that I provide on YouTube or my free course in the Facebook group. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave this video with a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you all in the next video.